Hello and welcome to this special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Oxner. Thanks for joining us. This week, we're taking a look back at some of our favorite beef recipes that we've cooked here in the studio. And more often than not, they'll leave your family wanting these dishes again and again. Let's start cooking. Eating beef with breakfast is a nutritious and tasty way to start the day. But it isn't always the easiest thing to prepare when you first wake up in the morning. Shanoa French of the Beef Culinary Innovation Center is with us here today to tell us about a beef recipe that's both easy and tasty pr to prepare for either breakfast or brunch. Is that correct? Absolutely. Thanks for having me. We're going to talk through a frittata. And a lot of people probably aren't familiar with a frittata. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's similar. It fits kind of in the omelet or quiche family. Okay. It's just crustless. So that kind of takes some of the fat component out of it. Um, okay. First thing we're going to talk through, I kind of started a little bit. Okay. So um, for the sake of time, but we've got a non-stick skillet. All right. And the most important thing when you're choosing your skillet is choose one that's oven proof. Ah. And so if you have a plastic handle or something it's like that. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, because it is going to go into the oven. Okay. So go I ahead see. and preheat your oven right. to 350 so yep. that gets hot while you do the rest of the stuff. Okay. Um, I went ahead and started. Um, the beginning of this recipe calls for four new potatoes. Okay. And you um, cut them into quarters or slices thin enough so that they'll cook. And, and again, you have how, how much zucchini and onion in there? Um, there's one. And I'll talk oh, okay. about that gotcha. here in a minute. So cut these up and you're going to start with them in the pan I with see. water and a lid. Gotcha. Cook them for about 10 minutes. Take them out and hold them aside mm. and um, drain your water off. And yeah. then what we did in here, we threw gotcha. a pound of ground beef in here, yep. um, a whole small zucchini sliced, mm. and a half of a yellow onion. Do we so have you, to put the zucchini in? You do have to okay. add it. You could do, well, okay, I'll let you choose another vegetable, okay. but All you right. have to choose a vegetable. Okay. It could be a red bell pepper or something else. Um, but what most important thing is you want to cook your beef, yep. um, drain it if you need to. Um, we used a 90% lean, so we're pretty good. Sure. Here, salt. Uh, season it with a little salt and pepper okay. so that it's all done. And this is pretty much, if you wanted to put this in an omelet, that components is all completely done. Oh, gotcha. okay. So once that's all done, yep. then we're going to go ahead and move to your eggs. So all this right. is just six large eggs. Oh. And put them in here and you whisk them together. No milk or anything? No milk or anything, just okay. six large eggs. So after you have that, you're going to take some fresh basil. Mm -hmm. And this gives it a real nice fresh aroma that you, you'll smell here in a minute. So okay. about three tablespoons, and if you like more or less, add it as you will. I always put it in here and stir it a little bit so okay. it gets evenly distributed oh, in I here. Yep. So I'm going to do a little of this. Very good. Um, you can do it with a fork if you want to. Sure. And what you're going to do is also add a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh-huh. And I'm going to add it in here gotcha. so that we... Um, even it's, though we've already salt and peppered the, the yeah, beef. Yeah, the recipe calls you to do a little bit at the beginning sure. to start it, and then a little bit at, um, when you add it to the egg Very mixture. Good. It good. makes sure that everything's thoroughly incorporated in here. Very good. So there's, here goes Six the fun eggs. part. Six eggs, yep. Okay. Yeah, and a little bit of fresh basil. Yeah. Um, you're going to go ahead and just pour it over the top. Oh, yeah. And kind of like make sure that it gets all oh, mixed I see. in. Because you want the egg, what it'll do when we put it in the oven, is it will, um, the fat in there kind of fluffs I and it, it'll grow on us. Gotcha. Um, a third of a cup of Italian cheeses. Oh, a perfect. nice white cheese. A light cheese. Or yeah. a half a cup, whatever you prefer. Or if you're doing it at Kevin's <laughs> house, that's what you get. So now what I'm going to do is this is going to go ahead and go in the oven. Okay. And um, as we talk about the magic of TV. Wow, look at that. Here comes one. A microwavable dish. Yeah. <laughs> and this will be those in. We'll get this stuff out of the way for sure. us. Sure. Um, what I, we want to go ahead and grab that plate. Oh, absolutely. Um, you can either, if you want to serve it as a whole family style, uh -huh. these things will slide directly out on a plate. Okay. Or we've cut them and we're just oh, going to take a piece out of there for you. Look at that. So this, as we talk about, it's a crustless. And it's got the nice, the eggs fluff up in there. Wow. And you've got ground beef and all your other vegetables. So well, I've got to try this. Yeah. Um, about how how many people will this serve, Shanoa? This one will f serve four to six, depending mm -hmm. on uh, how big of a, of a piece you want for breakfast, how many people are eating. And then we've paired it with some nice berries for anti antioxidants and some orange juice if you want it. That's perfect. You know, I'll tell you what, I think of bacon and sausage and ham, but I'll be honest, we don't do a lot of hamburger or beef for breakfast. This is delicious. Well, and it's that simple way as you, as you think about using it, you can kind of take this to a little bit of a Mexican version if you want to do stewed tomatoes and chilies and, and a little that. different cheese too. So it's a, it's a great brunch option as Mother's Day and Easter comes around. Thanks so much for coming again. Thanks. Thanks for having me. For other great breakfast ideas that include beef, head to our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.